Take a moment to reflect on just how far this league has come. What a century of hockey at its highest level looks like and feels like and sounds like. It's then you'll understand just why the National Hockey League has meant so much to so many. What is undoubtedly true about hockey is that when it appears, it captivates the imagination of the country as a pastime. Maurice Richard skated to the net carrying a defenseman on his back. Goalies have said that his eyes looked like lights flashing on a pinball machine. Gordy Hell can shoot from the left, he can shoot from the right. Who else does things like that? Or breaks for the net. Score! Or a backhander. Score! First time I saw Bobby Orr, and I sat there like this. Behind the net, the center, and the Wayne played chess, and he was playing 10, 20 moves ahead of everybody. And his knowledge of everybody else on the ice and their space and their timing can only be described as pure genius. They were an absolutely spectacular team. We had nine members of the Hall of Fame on the same team. Here's Canelli, the Tyson. The pass to Nyser. There's 16 guys on that team that won four Stanley Cups in a row. There's no way a team like that will ever exist today. They had a clearly defined style. They used to tell you, we're going to outscore you. You might get five, we're going to get seven. Think of the game as a link between people and places and time. Think of it, more than anything else, as a connector of generations.